Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flix Picks and the Nip Picks, and I am your humble host, No718, and we are going to check out this DC fandoms, The Flash, first look, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> I mean, everything about The Flash is, is it feels like we're going to be watching a, 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 a almost like a mixtape, if you will. Everybody's on it. It's a Puff Daddy mixtape. No way out. Everybody's going to be a part of this, and that's not a bad thing to me. What it is 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 that is it going to be to the detriment of the character that is the Flash? And I hope not. I seen some still shots of Ezra Miller, and I don't know. Just like he's one big walking joke right now online it, or at least that's what kind of feels like but I don't know if it's a bust I hope it's a good they're shitting on the costume I've seen the still of the costume I need to see this trailer with you guys I'm going to give you how I feel about it my initial reactions because I haven't watched it so let's just get into it greetings DC fandom and dumbers <laughs> Ezra Miller here Live from the set of The Flash, it looks like this. We're very excited to show you the movie, uh, and we can't yet because we're still making it. We wanted to show you a teaser, but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer, uh, but we okay, do have this, this small weird. sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year, or more importantly, you will see me. All right, why does he look so weird? <laughs> Tell me something. Like, I didn't know that that was satire. You can go anywhere you want, right? Okay. Any timeline. Any universe. Why do you okay. want to stay and fight to save this one? This is a trailer. You change the future. And you change the past. <laughs> Are you in? Okay, yeah, I needed to see that. That's bad, man. Oh, man, the kid in me just smiled out. Like... That's my favorite Batman. Like, from when I was a kid, Michael Keaton. Holy the Batmobile. Um, I'm smiling. It's weird that I only smiled and cheesed this hard just to see Batman's ears because that's the kid in me. That's the kid in me. Um... It's not much because it is a first look teaser uh, teaser trailer. So now looking at it in its full completion, yeah, that's what it is. So okay, I mean it's a teaser. Um, not sure how I feel. I think I feel a little bit more way about Ezra Miller's intro. Is he like always on? Like I feel like he's being playing a character. Just be. A, Dude, like, why couldn't you just show up with a, with a shirt? <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, 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 don't, don't be. It's already you're in a position where it's it's already that you're in a bad position in terms of what you have going on personally that happened before that you somehow skated out of. Do not put yourself in the media because you're over pushing this type of personality that to me i mean you're, you're promoting a movie you could have dressed a little bit more professional than that but i did see dc fan that had a lot of people dressed down so i guess that's the energy i think that even if you're dressed down there's a way you could have been a little bit more i don't know like business professional like you just i don't know it's just weird because <laughs> it was just like okay and then the hair is throwing me off, but I know his hair is like that in the movie, which is kind of, again, throwing me off. So it's like, okay. 
and it, it, it makes you just go like, all right, what kind of movie am I about to watch if you're introing it like this? <laughs> like, I don't know. And then he just seemed real off, like not sure of himself or very, I don't know. And it's sad that I'm spending most of my time talking about that part of the trailer as opposed to this. And I guess that's where I'm going to get into the business aspect of it. I think they should have, like, like, if you got a few takes... You should have, like, I don't know if they did it live or not, but they should have did different takes. Like, yo, you look a little awkward, bro. Like, I mean, if you're going to dress like this, be confident. Don't look like you're just wearing it and, and and it's just on you. I mean, if you that's what you chose to wear for this for the job and intro the business. At least act like you're comfortable in it. I don't know. It just... You know, don't look uncomfortable because it make it bleeds into people thinking that you're uncomfortable about the film and your placement in it. And that's what we don't need. We need confident. That's why I would not have, especially for all the shit that's going around in D.C., I would have just said, no, I want you to dress up. We're really trying to push D.C. And we don't need you to be looking or uncomfortably, especially if you're going to be dressing so eccentric and look uncomfortable about it. And then enter the movie in this uncomfortable place, especially while you got something else hanging over you already. Like, I mean, I I don't know if that was for a diversion or not, because this is the first time we've really seen him since his situation um, with the young lady. Either or, it doesn't really matter now, because, I mean, they're still doing it. I'm just thinking that, and it seems like, because even online, they was kind of showing pictures of him. It just seemed like... Ezra is becoming ahead of his film and that's what you don't need. Ezra is part of this film and he's selling this film. So I think he just needs to look more confident if be a little bit more professional especially considering the climate that you're in. So we can at least when we look at the film we don't see Ezra and Ezra being and his zaniness and we could at least put the film and the artistry in what you're trying to bring to these characters to the front. Because from what I understand, Ezra is a good actor. From what I understand. And I seen one trailer of a film that I really wanted to see that he was in. And he looked like he did amazing work. So I don't know, man. Let's just check it out again. Because I feel bad that I got to spend more time talking about that than this. But I have to be honest, my mind is more fixated on the presentation of the film than the trailer itself. So, one, two, three, go. Wait a second, one, two, three, go. The logo is cool. I get where they're going from with which type of flash and interpretation with the line work all Ezra throughout the suit Why, makes the sense. Of the flash, it I mean, like look. This. Are you We're in character to show you as yourself? Uh, and then here he looks like he's you know, on hostage. We wanted to show you a teaser, but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer, uh, but we do have this small sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year, or more importantly, you will see me. And very Johnny Depp-esque. You can go. Anywhere you want, right? Any timeline. Any but Johnny could sell it better. Why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? You change the future. And you change the past. Yeah, that helmet is a little. It looks better there in that shot. But you don't even look buff, bro. That's another thing with Ezra. Are you in? Hmm. At least, so it comes over and says, okay. So it's not a helmet, is that? That was nice. That was a, the shot that I like that they did because we know that's the Batmobile. Yo, man, look. From what we've seen, it's not that much. It looks a little quirkier, but 
there's something to be said that they're playing with Tim Burton's universe a little bit as well. So let's just not be too apprehensive about that part of it. But it, it's not much that we can say. I'm not a fan of the mask, but that's the mask we got. The rest of the costume look like it might be on screen. Look pretty dope because the shot looked kind of cool from far away though we couldn't see it zoomed up and it even looked like it was him in it like the costume looked like it's made of muscles because he looked like he didn't even try to do a push-up so that's another thing that being said i still look forward to seeing this especially because of the batman batman michael king's batman that shit had me cheesing this is cool like they actually making this and um i look i look forward to it has this made, um, built up my excitement not at all really um I have an eyebrow raised. I hope it turns out to be good. But with that being said, you let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited? Hyped up about this any further? As always, leave it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, till I have a better outro. Chill.